A development project in Fort Worth is hoping to breathe new life into what many consider a long-time neglected neighborhood. The U.S. HUD secretary traveled to Fort Worth today to see the historic Stop 6 neighborhood for herself. Fox 4's Dion Anglin joining us now from Fort Worth with more. Dion. Hi there, Heather. Well, a transformation definitely taking shape here in historic Stop 6. And with this project, there is now a stamp of approval from the nation's top housing leader. Fulfilling a promise to Congressman Mark Vesey. Good morning. Good morning. U.S. Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Marsha Fudge, made it to the Stop 6 community Friday morning. This is green space or what is this going to be? So these are single family homes and um, this is the parking deck. She's briefed on a transformation taking shape. I have uh, been promising the congressman that I was going to come to see the progress of a $35 million grant that they received from HUD. And I am quite impressed. Congressman Vesey, along with city and county officials, punctuated important issues surrounding the 172-unit high-rise for senior citizens, including available transportation, the ability to attract grocery stores and other amenities. <laughs> also, the inclusion of Stop 6 residents in the process, while offering lifelong residents like Carolyn Tubbs the opportunity to move back when the transformation is complete. This is their neighborhood. This is their home. This is where they want to be. And we should be able to accommodate it. People who live in communities like this was have lost hope in their government. Do not believe we can make their lives better. As we all stand here today together, we know we can make their lives better. And we need to give them a sense of hope again. All smiles when the secretary wants to know how the community got its name. Why is it called Stop Six? I was wondering that it when was I was reading. It was the last stop yeah. on the public transportation ah, system. Yeah. Inter yeah. Inter Inter early Carolyn Tubbs, meantime, likes what she hears and is optimistic. What they said today here, I just hope they keep their word. That's all I'm saying. Just keep your word, what you're saying. Now, this development is called Cowan Place. It will be home to those who are 62 years old and older, and the first residents uh, are expected to move in by June of 2023.